Done. Does manage to get up the slight of fish before the uh, beer coming out from Malik. Flip it off the mark there, and now they're easily going to get caught and sandwiched upon. Missed execution there from Hook, or uh, they took the top tower, and now they're poking away at this mid tower as well. Did you have you been looking at Solo this game? By the way, he's going like carry Enchantress. Is there a gun? He's got to get hexed up. They've got the control. Overstepping their balance is a little bit too much. Zayas, he's going to get caught up by Pechicharo. Nice read there to make that long range zip. Something I never see anymore. I always see them skill ult. He's almost level 12. Yeah, that is uh, a little odd. Pechicharo. Not respecting the damage that comes out. There goes that freezing field. Malik is going to be able to get away thanks to his arena. At the same time, Crystallize, he's going to be caught here. Hexed up. They have the Aegis for another 15 seconds, so they'll have to deal with that second life of the Ursa. Can they get the chain stuns? Can they get the immediate disables? No, Crystallize using that fresh blink dagger he picked up to immediately go over to the high ground. Quickly kill the Crystal Bane. Malik is going to be caught in the midst of the Serpent Wars again here. It's Pechishara, a beautiful Chakram, thanks to Gwynplaine setting up the double stunt there. Solo gets wide. Wiped out. Now they're looking to be able to catch Crystallize as well, but say you is, uh, well, if he keeps hunting, if he's persistent about it, he late. may still find him. He's going to see these dead neutrals and go, guys, this Ursa is still stuck. John is going to be coming up right now. Nobody has a uh, vision inside of the pit. Nobody put their courier up there as the smoke. It's going to break here onto the Ursa. It's going to right through him. Petrashara is straight on in with Smiling Knight popping his BKB. Looking to be able to keep Crystallize down, but in rage, it's going to protect him. Now he's got his BKB. He's going for the timber saw right now. He blinks over to the other side, chooses to go for Eknar instead, does manage to get a lucky bat. Here comes the Sunshine. The Cataclysm, though, just doesn't do quite enough to get any of these kills, as ultimately Crystallize gets kited way too much. And Oh, yeah, I guess Untouchable does work on wards now. The fights. All right, well, yet another smoke from No Techies. If they find the back line. This time, they're the aggressors into the high ground. It's not going to break just yet on the low ground. It's going to break here. Smiling Knight's already bumped forward and immediately jumped onto Urgon. That is disastrous for no techies. They're going to continue to try and chase down this Shadow Shaman with their BK. The, the, the spear goes out, but the Hex is already down. The Cataclysm will manage to take him out, but Crystallize, the damage has already been, kind of been done. He is low on health, no longer has his enrage. The Yule Scepter is going to stall him out until they can finally get the kill. Here comes the Tornado, but it's a bit too late to save anybody. But he solo's already been caught here, and he'll go down as well. No tech, he's losing team fight after team fight, and now it is finally time to do that, Roche. They put the sentry. This is going to be well timed as uh, the Ursa may not even be able to get there in time. We'll see. The tornado is definitely going to pull them out a little bit more. Solo, intrepid solo, leading off true to his name all by himself and is immediately going to be blown up. So that's a little awkward. Ray Fire Blast turned back around onto the Wraith King to jump forward from Crystallize. Going to go for the Timbers off. Finally, Mount gets to go to Reed up, but the BKB is going out still. The Cataclysm already taken out the Crystal Maiden. The first life, the Wraith King is down as well. Timber saw out on the side, kiting away Crystallize, but he's got to be careful of that alacrity. Look at him being slowed down by the flamethrower. The enrage is no longer out. The tornado cannot help him escape. Seiyu comes back with his second life to be able to catch Urkon. And GG goes out. They know they've got nothing left in the tank. It's a challenge. Empire, both teams were willing to push it kind of late. We're willing to let these carries get their farm. They're actually going to skill to be in snare there. Maybe try to set up for the kill. Get the surround. Gonna be enough? Yeah, that damage comes a little bit too fast and early. I thought he'd just go the Scotty heart build and then yeah. just be invulnerable because they can't deal with the illusions. But he's feeling a little bit different. He wants to have that matchup versus the TA, that evasion. Is there a gun? The blink off, even though he was. Diet. Well, and charges. Two health, man. Looks like they're going to be able to catch Solo here inside of the river as Zayats may also get run down by an illusion if he gets another hit in. Or maybe a Riptide. Still got eight seconds to go. Oh, Zayats is getting away. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, but the turnaround! Gwynpli dies, meanwhile, in the mid lane, so they lost their two... Just looking to finish up the tower, it is quite low, but Eknar's here. Oh. <laughs> 
actually going to try and run him down thanks to the necker book, but the oh Jesus! Now the roll in, they are going to be able to get the kill onto Ergon, so they did read that correctly, but it's going to cost them both Peshishara and Eknard, it's looking like. And so, oh, Telekinesis catching the mid swatch buckle, so Eknard lives a little bit longer. His spirit siphon's going to town, oh my but God. Crystallize is here to finish him off. The song comes out. Do they have. See if they can get the tornado timing right here. Oh, oh no, it slides oh. right on past. Not quite the they're hoping for. They're going to drop the triple ward still, though. They managed to kill Crystallize. Zion's going to be run down as well as he turns around and goes for the last second. X Naga Siren's really good at cleaning up Serpent Ward. They're still trying to make some moves, keep no techies, always on the back foot, always be getting caught like this, potentially, as Zayats is going to find that cold snap. It's going to keep him in place for quite some time. The roll-in from Malik is going to try and stop it, but it doesn't even save his support. As he gets snapped down, Malik is going to have to blink himself away as Urgod in danger of being run down underneath this tier 3 with a sun strike. A little bit more damage, but not quite enough. Rolling up is Smiling Knight. He's got two and a half minutes walking. on the Aegis, and he doesn't give a damn about a tier 3. He just goes straight for whoever he can catch. It's going to be solo first. They're going to go ahead and rupture Smiling Knight, and he'll walk it off casually because he's got a heart. <laughs> yeah, he'll just heal through it, the rupture. Yeah, <laughs> no problem. And now they have ruptured themselves. This gets to run yep. down by the illusions. Empire is just, they're just ending the game. They're just fully committing for it. They're... They're calling the block from no techies. No techies has to just watch their buildings die. Aragon wants to go for an opportunity, but he just can't. All right, well, they have a chance here. The uh, Aegis is going to be expiring soon. They go for Eknar, but Eknar doesn't even die to Templar Assassin. Now Aragon is getting all those damages, and the Fraction's going to get burned out so quickly. They call GG. Empire, they prove to be far superior, I would say, in this series. And, uh, no